different types of 4TO 20 mA transmitter wiring. Several transmitter wiring options exist. The design of the associated control panel dictates which option should be used. These wiring options include 3 wire current source transmitter, non isolated 3 wire current sync transmitter, non isolated 4 wire, fully isolated 2 wire loop powered transmitters. 3 wire current source transmitter, non isolated this is the most common configuration of modern 4 to 20 mA transmitters. The transmitter and control panel can use the same 24 volts and 0 volts DC supply lines. The 4 to 20 mA signal flows through the 24 volts DC line and the signal line to the controller. Advantages, only three cable cores are required to the transmitter. A common power supply can be used for both the transmitter and the control panel. Disadvantages, any electrical interference or pickup may be transmitted along the signal line, which could generate a spurious alarm in the control panel. Three wire current sync transmitter, non-isolated the transmitter and control panel, can use the same 0 volts and 24 volts DC supply lines. The 4 to 20 mA signal flows through the 0 volts DC line and the signal line to the controller. Advantages. Only three cable cores are required to the transmitter. A common power supply can be used for both the transmitter and the control panel. Disadvantages. Any electrical interference or pickup may be transmitted along the signal line, which may generate a spurious alarm in the control panel. Four wire fully isolated transmitter The transmitter and control panel use separate power supplies. The 4 to 20 mA signal flows through two separate cable cores between the transmitter and control panel. Advantages Electrical interference on the voltage supply lines will not be transferred to the 4 to 20 mA signal line, reducing the risk of spurious signals being received at the controller. Disadvantages an additional cable core is required for each transmitter, compared to current sync and source options. A separate power supply is required for both the transmitter and control panel. Two wire loop powered transmitters This configuration supplies power and 4 to 20 mA signal over a two wire loop connection between the transmitter and the control panel. Not all transmitters can be wired in this format and must be specifically designed to accommodate this configuration. Advantages has low power consumption. Only two cable cores are required to the transmitter. Disadvantages. Transmitter discrete fault signaling cannot be set at zero milliamps as this configuration continues to draw some current in a fault condition. This configuration is not suitable for control panels that require a zero milliamp signal for a fault indication. Not suitable for power hungry transmitters. Visit instrumentationtools.com for more articles.